after we finish um, recording, then then we'll come back and have some time to share, but that won't be recorded. So, yeah. So welcome to the Yoga Nidra class this evening. This seems like a good moment in time to do a practice on welcoming emotions. And this kind of goes back to my roots with some of the earlier training I had uh, through the IREST Institute in Yoga Nidra. And sometimes it's that most basic training that can be really useful and effective, no matter where you are on that whole scale of how long you've been meditating and all of that. So often I think when we work with emotions, we're doing this in a way where we're just kind of dealing with it as it arises. And so often when we're doing that, it can seem like these things are things we're trying to get past or push away, get to a better state, etc. And when we're in that moment with an emotion that's arising, it can be hard just to remember to slow down and to turn toward what's here and to really meet it on its own terms and be with it. And one of the ways that we can practice that in meditation is actually practicing it proactively so that there's a way that we're using the meditation practice to practice meeting emotions. And when we're not in the thick of something, and any of us here may have some emotion you're in the thick of, so we'll work with that if so. Um, but when we're not in the thick of something and we're, we're moving proactively to meet our emotional life, there's a way that um, our body begins to learn this kind of sense of self-trust because we're able to then turn toward an emotion, meet it, welcome it, look at it as a messenger, you actually interact with it, and our emotional life or our inner life just starts to get to know that we're here for it. And I just know we're entering this time period where a lot of us will be, you know, with family, visiting family or friends. And this is the holidays. It's when stuff comes up. So here we are with whatever it is that's present for each of us. And if there isn't something present for you, there's going to be something present for someone who you're in close contact with. And so the more we can proactively work to meet and welcome our own emotional life, and, and we'll do that tonight, um, you know, the more open I think we become and available for, for what's really here. And it's meeting an emotion, not seeing it as something to be gotten past so we can get to our life that we want but actually seeing this emotion that's arising as as the beauty and mess of exactly what's here right now to meet. And sometimes it's surprising when you go into a meditation practice like this, where we're actually inviting emotions to come in, and you may be surprised what it is that you find. Uh, I know that that's true for me. You know, don't even know that you're feeling something that you suddenly encounter. and um, Or there's an emotion that you welcome that you know, something you've been actually longing to, to turn toward and meet and welcome. So I don't know if, if any of you have something already sort of at the, the tip of your tongue that you would say were I to ask you what emotion is present. But um, if you do, maybe just consider, consider that, you know, reflect inwardly and, and think about, okay, what is it that has been present for me lately? and that I would like to work with in this meditation. And what we do in the practice of Yoga Nidra is we go in with an intention such as, I'd love to meet this emotion of sadness or um, happiness or whatever it is. Or I'd love to just see what emotion arises when we get to that part. That could be your intention. And then we do the the orienting practice of tuning into the breath, the body sensations, inviting our body to enter a more calm and relaxed state where we're able to then turn toward what's present emotionally and actually be able to interact with it in a deeper way. And if these emotions indeed are messengers knocking at our door, then 
when we open it and see see what comes in, we're more able, we're more better able to um, to truly meet what's there on its own terms and to actually also hear the message that it may have for us. This can all sound, I think, a little bit trite sometimes, you know, especially in looking at working with emotions, et cetera. These are, this is like the stuff of life. This is, this is the stuff that arises in us. And, and some of it's really, really beautiful, poignant pointers to our essence and to um, who we are most essentially, that were we to gain that message from this messenger of sadness, that we would get more in touch with our wholeness. And so those are some of the outcomes that can happen of just turning toward what's present. Now, when we get to that part of the practice, if you are working with an emotion and, and you don't have a name for it and you don't have a story for it and there's nothing else, you just want to feel it somatically, then stay with that during that part. You, you can always feel free to ignore any of the guidance I give as we go along the way um, and do your own inquiry as we go. This process of, of meeting emotions comes when we're able to slow down. So that's why the first part of the yoga nidra practice is really letting us kind of slow down, come fully into the moment. And it's a kind of mixture of mindfulness and the, the non-dual practice of seeing, seeing our essential nature and who we really are. So does anyone have any questions before we get into the practice this evening? Um, I'll walk you through how to get into the yoga nidra. So normally what people do is turn their videos off and then find a place to lie down. So if you'd like to keep your video on, feel free. Um, but what we'd like is if, if you would find a place that you can actually lie down, whether it's on the floor, on a couch, on a bed, you wanna be supported. You wanna have a pillow underneath your head, maybe a bolster underneath your knees and be in a position that you feel like you could hang out in for a whole half hour. That is something that's um, comfortable for you. Of course, if you have to move throughout the practice, feel free to move. But um, this, the practice of yoga nidra is, it's a meditation lying down. So that's where we're headed right now. So feel free to, if you'd like to um, turn your video off. And as I said, you're welcome to leave it on, but um, just get into a position that's really comfortable for you. You can have your one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. You can have your arms by your sides. Perhaps your palms are face down on the surface that's supporting you. And then just check so you can have your heels hip width distance. And if it does feel comfortable to have a bolster or pillow underneath your knees. And then a blanket, of course, nearby if you, if you need it. So we're settling into the posture of Yoga Nidra. It says corpse pose and Chavasana and the yoga practice. Just making ourselves available to the practice of meditation. So this is far more of a receptive practice than it is something that we want to do or engage a doer in. So we're letting go of the doer. So perhaps take a deep inhalation and then exhale, just release the breath. Take a few more of those deep inhalations. Maybe pausing at the top of the inhale and then release the breath. If it feels right to you, perhaps gently taking a moment to open your eyes, take in your surroundings and then allow your eyes to gently close. So you're turning attention inward, aware of the outer environment, turning attention inward, sensing perhaps the palms of your hands as they rest on the surface that's supporting you or on your body, the whole back of your body in the way that the surface kind of rises up to meet you or hold you. 
feeling those meeting points of body and ground. If it feels right, you can continue to remain in touch with the breath as it comes in and out and that simple mindfulness practice. It's as if you're riding the wave of your own breath in and then out. So this is not a forcing. You're, you're catching a ride on the, the wave of the breath. And open all of the senses, so the ears to sound, noticing the sound of my voice, any sounds in your room, or the sound of your own breathing. Just the felt sense of body hearing. And the felt sense of sight, so if you have your eyes closed, noticing any light, shadows, shapes. what it's like to smell and taste. In touch, can you feel your whole body a receptivity to touch, whether it's the touch of the air on your skin or your clothing or the surface you're resting upon? So all of the senses are open. You're riding the wave of the breath in and out. You're allowing attention to draw inward, letting go of the day. Perhaps there remain some mental impressions, memories, thoughts from the day. Notice if your mind is racing or quiet or anywhere in between. Can you let that gentle wave of the breath in and out just begin to allow the mind to sort of subside into the background? The grasping of thinking beginning to soften and release. Feeling the quality of your own presence here the comfort of that. So if your body begins to go into states of sleep, that's no problem at all. We're not refusing sleep, we welcome the movement of body into sleep. So there's no correct way to do this practice. If your body needs rest, it will get it. And this is a place for that. So feeling the whole left side of your body, bring attention to the left side of your face, left arm and hand, left side of your torso, left leg, left foot, your whole left side. Can you let all your attention be on the left side of your body as you breathe in and out? You may find that your eyes kind of shift over to your left side, that's fine. Breathing in and out with a wave of the breath, sensing sensation in the whole left side of the body. Now gently switch attention to the whole right side of the body, the right side of your face and head, right arm and hand, right torso, right leg and foot the whole right side of the body. 
just feeling that as a sensation. You may feel an aliveness, a numbness, whatever is present. As you breathe in and out, sensing your whole right side. Now we'll sense the whole body at once, left and right sides. And feeling your whole body simultaneously, any sensations that are present. You may feel like a radiance or aliveness, spaciousness or many other things, whatever is present. Continuing to follow the breath in and out, we perhaps now set an intention for the meditation practice. It may be to meet a particular emotion or to see what emotion arises when we reach that part of the practice. Or you may be here simply to relax or sleep. So whatever your intention is, can you set that inwardly now? Bringing a quality of patience, of presence to the meditation. So we'll begin with a body scan and I'll name a body part and simply Notice whatever it is that you experience at this body part. So it doesn't have to look a certain way. Just notice what do you feel. So we'll begin with the jaw. So notice if there's any tightness or holding in your jaw. You may move it around a little bit. Can you release or relax any just subtle muscles around the jaw, the throat? From speaking, from listening. Feeling the breath as it comes in and out of the nose or the mouth. Bring attention to your left ear. Notice any sensation in your left ear. Bring attention to your right ear. Just notice, what do you experience when you consider your right ear? Any sensation that may be present, whatever's here. And then feel both ears at the same time. This is a practice of opposites, holding both sides of the body simultaneously, both ears, feeling your body Breath coming and going. Sense now your left eye. Notice if there's any tension or holding behind your left eye. Can you dive into any subtle tension and allow it to spontaneously release or relax? Any muscles that are holding unnecessarily Same with your right eye. Notice any holding behind or around your right eye. With the breath, could you simply invite any tension around the right eye to release? So sense both eyes now at the same time. So it's hard for the mind to be on two things at once. So let go of thinking, just feel both eyes. Sensing your forehead, 
crown of your head and the back of your head. And bring attention to the back of your neck and your upper back. Notice if there's any tension from today, from computer or driving or moving around. Simply in bringing this loving attention to your neck and upper back, you may find that there's a natural release or a relaxation. Breathing in, breathing out, relaxing any muscles in the neck, shoulders, upper back. Bringing attention now to your left shoulder, take an in-breath and then exhale all the way down your left arm to the palm of the left hand. So as you breathe in and out, sensing only your left arm and your left hand, it's as if you don't have a rest of your body, all of your attention is absorbed as you breathe in and out in your left arm and hand. You may notice a tingling or pulsing or spaciousness. You're just being patient with and present to whatever it is that's arising in our experience, bringing a sense of kindness towards yourself, just welcoming your whole body into awareness. Bringing attention with an in-breath now to the right shoulder. And then exhale all the way down the right arm to the palm of the right hand. So here too, breathing in and out, sensing your whole right arm, right hand. Now taking an in-breath, sensing both shoulders at the same time. Exhale, sensing both arms and the palms of both hands now simultaneously. You may feel a warmth or a heaviness in both arms, both hands. Breath coming and going. Letting go of thinking, letting go of the day, coming into the felt sense of the body, no matter what's here, bringing this welcoming, kind awareness to whatever it is that's in your experience. Bringing attention to your torso, your chest and belly, your back, sides. Maybe you notice that the belly is rising and falling with the in and out breath. perhaps bringing a quality of kindness to the meditation, just gently exploring what's present, not needing it to be different, not needing to do it the right way. Allowing the mind, the body to begin to settle even further into a state of relaxation. Bring attention now to the left hip with an inhale, exhaling all the way down the left leg to the sole of the left foot. Breathing in and out, sensing left leg, left foot. So still riding the wave of the breath with an inhale, bring attention to the right hip. 
Exhaling, the wave of the breath goes down the right leg to the sole of the right foot. Breathing in and out, sensing right leg, right foot. Whatever is present, whatever you notice, just being with it as it is. On the in-breath now, sensing both hips, and on the out-breath, both legs and feet at the same time. You may feel a lot of sensation or energy moving in your legs and feet. You may feel nothing or anywhere in between. Just noticing the sensation, legs and feet. You may even drop the image of your legs and simply stay with the felt sense of legs and feet. That same felt sense now welcomes the whole body into awareness, torso, arms and hands, head, whole body. You may feel like a spacious openness or a spacious awareness, bringing kindness to whatever it is that's in your experience. It's kind of radical welcoming of what's here. So palms of hands, soles of feet, belly are warm, perhaps a cool forehead. Tuning in to that quality of building self-trust, leaning in toward what it is that arises in your experience just as it is. You may feel the wave of the breath coming and going as the belly rises and falls. Your thinking mind can be doing whatever it does, but allowing that to more fade into the background. Whereas the felt sense of the body is in the foreground, whatever it is that you experience. We're going to just gently turn toward an emotion that may be present. So check in. Is there any emotion that's present in this moment that you'd like to turn toward, welcome, and meet as if it were a messenger here delivering a message or something to be attuned to? So just notice in your emotional inner life? Can you feel something in your body perhaps? Or there's a word that comes to you for an emotion that's present for you or that you'd like to work proactively with to meet and welcome and be with. And so turning toward what's present here as an emotion what comes, what arises in your experience to be met? You may have an image arise or a feeling tone or a memory. But if this emotion were knocking on your door and you wanted to turn toward it and you open the door and this emotion came into the room with you, what does it look like? How does it feel in your body as you consider this emotion and the sensations that come along with this emotion? Just 
What's it like to draw near to the emotion that's present, just allowing it to be just as it is? So for you, it may be simply a body sensation that you're meeting with no other formulation. And if so, really just feel what it's like to feel the body sensation of this emotion. So it's part of your experience. It's a messenger. And if you do sort of open a door and welcome an emotion in, what does it look like? How old is it? Or is it a green squishy blob or is it a version of you when you were younger just what does this emotion appear before you as it may again just be a felt sense if so continuing to welcome that or an image or a memory it's really important that there's not a correct way to do this we're turning toward our emotional life and welcoming whatever it is that's here. So this can be a slow process. We're just slowing down, listening, being with. It may just be an image of yourself from earlier today or yesterday. Whatever is here, can you welcome that to be here and be with it? Allow it to be here, turn toward it, feel it. Could you have that quality of kindness and compassion toward whatever it is that is in your experience? And if this emotion had a message for you, some sort of message, what would that be? Maybe asking, what is it that you want? Or what is it that you need? Letting this emotion know that you're open to receiving any message that it may have for you. And then just listening and being with it and waiting and feeling. Perhaps there's something underneath that arises. Perhaps there's just some desire on this part of you for more connection and intimacy with you, with the wholeness of you. What if this emotion was allowed to be just as it is, not made wrong, but welcomed? What if you didn't have to figure it out? Could you feel perhaps a, an amount or a, some sense of intimacy with the emotion? So how this is part of who you are? And can you also feel the part of you that observes that and sees that and can interact with it and doesn't get lost in it? So it's both. Welcoming yourself totally and being aware that there's more than just this passing through. Could you tune back into that, the awareness that's aware of what's present? Feeling any qualities that come from that, such as love, holding,
clarity or light, any other words that come to you as you consider what's aware of this emotion arising in you. And then can you feel both at the same time the awareness of what's here and fully feeling the emotion that is here in its fullness, not needing to separate from it. So wherever you are in that process or however you're meeting your emotion that's here, could you ask again, is there a message here for me? Is there a message? Something to be acknowledged in this moment as I tune in to this emotion. What feels important to acknowledge? Can you allow this emotion to come and go as it pleases or to be so fully welcomed that you're not trying to get past it or over it or rid of it, but that it's an ally for you, a friend? Even the stuff that's hard to feel may have important messages and we want a level of closeness with who we are. So if it feels right, just allowing that closeness to happen. It can be so easy to skip to the next thing. And so in this moment, we're really hanging out with and meditating with this that's present emotionally, taking time, being with what may at first seem icky or something else, you know, may change over time. So we're just being with this unfolding experience using the imaginal world, anything that comes to you to tune in with whatever it is that's here. So if we don't need to hold ourselves separate from the stuff that comes up in us, then something can release inwardly. A level of holding can release inwardly. So perhaps sense in your body with each exhalation, allowing any layers of holding or defending to release, relax, let go. As you do so, you may feel more in touch with the quality of spacious openness. So this is a felt sense inquiry. So coming down out of the mind, into the heart, and then out into the whole body. Feeling your natural presence outside of the thoughts about yourself, the emotions, all of it. What's it like to rest in this natural presence? If 
It's like you see a tree resting as itself. It's not trying. So could you feel that level of relaxation where you're just being just who you are in this moment? Total welcoming of all of you. Perhaps letting that emotion know that you're committed to it and it can return at any time and you'll spend time with it when you can. Making commitments to these aspects of ourself that are important messengers. We'll go into more of a of a letting go here. So letting go of trying to meet an emotion or think about this practice. And turning toward this spacious awareness. You may want to do that by utilizing the breath, so breathing in to the heart, out the whole body. Breathing into the heart, out to the whole body. Perhaps inviting in a quality of, of love. The naturalness of this feeling of love may just be bursting forth in your experience or you're inviting or nudging forward, whatever it is for you. So keep following the breath in and out if that feels comfortable, into the heart, out to the whole body, and the space around the body. Do you feel yourself kind of held or nurtured by this quality of loving awareness? Maybe there's a sense of buoyancy or ease as your body is just resting here in the meditation. If a thought comes in about what's next, just let it pass through and return back to the felt sense of the breath into the heart, exhaling out to the whole body, the space around the body. Perhaps even picturing yourself going about the rest of your evening and having this sense of being held or there's a buoyancy that's carrying you through into, into sleep and to the morning when you wake up. Just returning back to that intention you said at the beginning, how was it to 
Look at this intention and how is it now? Just noticing, no judgment. What if when we close the meditation, we don't need to turn this quality of love or spacious openness off, but can just be living through us as we go about whatever it is that comes next. Before we close the meditation, just asking inwardly, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged in this moment. Just notice what comes. yourself to very gently close the meditation, whatever that looks like for you. So no rushing. You may move your fingers and toes or gently allow your knees to come in toward your chest and maybe rolling off to one side. Let your body move really slowly, sort of taking in the, the rest, the meditation. Thanks for your practice.